Hello, and welcome back to Judge's Bakery for Mince Pies Part 2. You should have, a few weeks ago, if you'd follow the instructions correctly, have some mincemeat from your fridge that looks like that. Now we're going to make the mince pies. We want to make everything quick, easy and straightforward. So, what we have, 195 grams of white flour, 125 grams of caster sugar, 125 grams of butter and one egg. You can make it vegan if you replace the butter with cake margarine and you can replace the egg with a bit of um, soy milk or even just water. What you want to do, bring the butter, the sugar and the flour all together in a bowl, bring to a nice crumb and then add a bit of egg or your water or your milk just to bind it all together and then you should end up with a nice paste like that. Very simple, very easy. You can put it in your mixer or you can use your fingers. Absolutely fine. So now let's make the mince pies. Okay so when your pastry is rested in the fridge for about half hour you should have a nice square piece like this to start off with, a little bit of dust in and then we roll it out. With this pastry, you should get at least 12 deep mince pies, if not 14, maybe 20, 24 shallow ones. Another thing you can do to make this a little bit more Christmassy is you could always add a little bit of orange zest into your pastry, or even a little bit of cinnamon, or a bit of both. So, you want it about the thickness of a two pence piece, like so. I'm fortunate, I'm in a bakery so I have a cutter, however a jam jar, a cup, a mug will do equally as well. And then cut out your circles like this, So we're just going to do six for today, then you want to just pop your pastry into your cases like so, just give them a little gentle push down with your fingers, like so, and then just a little thumb round to make a nice deep well. Deeper the well, the more mincemeat you can get in. So, we have six there. Okay, then we need to fill up our mince pies with our mince meat. A nice big spoonful, push it to the top, flatten down, all done. And just carry on with the other six. As you well know, if you've bought our mince pies, we are exceptionally generous here. No point being tight, is there? Right. So, we should end up with six mince pies like this, generously filled. Then we need to decorate the top. We like to put a little star or a holly leaf on, but um, there's no rules in baking. You can put on what you like. You can even cut out your own shapes. Put your partner's initials on. Six stars. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and then we have six mince pies ready. Now you can either A, if you have room in your freezer, put them in the freezer like this, but it's best to defrost before you bake, or they'll be fine in the fridge for a couple of days before um, you bake them, or bake straight away and eat straight away. 
once baked, they will keep well in a Tupperware box um, for a good yeah, few days, a week even. But um, if you're going to serve them, pop them in the oven for five minutes and just warm them through, dollop of cream, perfect. So, now we're going to bake about 190, 200 in the oven, depending on what sort of oven you've got. If it's convection, I would just turn it down a little bit uh, to about 180. We pop them in the oven, 20, 25 minutes, and then when they come out, we should have something like this. So, 25 minutes later, six mince pies, out the oven, ready to eat, dust, a little bit of icing sugar, and voila, these will be the best mince pies you have ever tasted, guaranteed. Thank you and happy Christmas.